Hello and warm welcome to all for today's new lecture series on internal combustion engine. Here we will be covering the basic types of internal combustion engine along with the definition of IC engine. So let's start with the today's lecture. Engine. First we will define the engine. So how we are going to define the engine is the mechanical device which converts one form of energy into another form. Now next. If you compare the IC engine with the engine, so how that IC engine is being different from normal engine? IC engine is also one type of engine in which the combustion takes place inside the combustion chamber or the cylinder. Next, we are going to see the classification of engine. How we are going to classify the various types of engine? So the first broad classification of engine is the according to the cycle of operation that is two stroke engine and four stroke engine next is according to thermodynamic cycle whether it is auto cycle diesel cycle or diesel cycle next one is method of ignition how we are going to ignite the fuel in the combustion chamber that is spark ignition engine or the compression ignition engine Some more few classification of IC engines are according to number of cylinders, whether it is a single cylinder or multi cylinder. Next is according to the cooling system used to cool the combustion chamber, that is air cooled engine, water cooled engine, or oil cooled engine. Next is according to the type of fuel used, that is petrol engine, diesel engine, or gaseous engine, where you are going to use the auto LPG or CNG. Some few more classifications are according to the speed, whether it is a high speed engine, low speed engine or medium speed engine. Next one, according to application, that is automotive engine, aircraft engine or marine or generator sets. Next one is cylinder arrangement, it is according to the how the cylinders are being arranged in the combustion chamber, that is vertical engine, horizontal engine or radial engine or opposed piston or opposed cylinder engine. Next we are going to see is the difference between the external combustion engine and internal combustion engine. So the first difference which can be noted in between these two types of engine is the combustion of air fuel is outside the engine cylinder and in case of internal combustion engine the combustion of air fuel mixture is being done in the engine cylinder. That means in the external combustion engine whatever is the combustion that is occurring with help of ignition system that is occurring outside the cylinder. And in case of internal combustion engine or IC engine, it is there within the cylinder itself. So the next difference is the operation of engine is more smooth and silent in case of external combustion engine. But in case of IC engine, as the combustion is being taking place within the combustion chamber, so it will affect the noise level or the noise level is higher than the external combustion engine. The third is the third difference is heavier conversion due to the lighter ratio of weight and bulk to output power and over here the light and compact due to the lower ratio of weight and bulk to output power that means the external combustion engine are much more heavier in weight and compared to internal combustion engine where it is lighter in weight or compact in nature the fourth difference between the external and internal combustion engine is in external combustion engine the working pressure is low and temperature is less, hence no special arrangement is being required. But in case of internal combustion engine, the working pressure is high and the temperature is also high, so some special arrangement is required. The fifth difference between the external and internal is the efficiency part. The efficiency of external combustion engine is less and that is about 15 to 20 percent. But in case of internal combustion engine, the efficiency is 35 to 40 percent. The sixth difference is the starting torque required. In case of external combustion engine, the high starting torque is required to start the engine or to crank the engine. But in case of internal combustion engine, it is not self-starting. You need to have the starter motor type of arrangement to crank on the engine. The seventh difference is 
high requirement of water that means of cooling water which is being required for external combustion engine for cooling purpose or for heat carrying away purpose that requirement is more in case of external combustion engine but in case of internal combustion engine no requirement of water is there next we are going to see the difference between the spark ignition engine and the compression ignition engine the spark ignition engine is also called as petrol engine or the gasoline engine and compression ignition engine is also called as diesel engine so let's start with the differences between these two types first is the according to the cycle so on which cycle the particular spark ignition is engine is going to work so that is the auto cycle and the working cycle is diesel cycle in case of the compression ignition engine the next difference is the fuel use and its property in spark ignition engine you are going to use the petrol which is having the high octane number in case of compression ignition engine we are going to use the diesel which is having the high cetane number so the octane number is high in one case and in one case the cetane number is high so that is the basically the property of fuel which is being used next one is the self ignition temperature is that is high in case of spark ignition and the low self ignition temperature in case of compression ignition next is the type of mixture or what is the what are the constituent of mixture so the fuel and air is the mixture which is being introduced in the combustion chamber for igniting purpose but in case of compression ignition engine the fuel is injected directly into the combustion chamber and the air which is being compressed in the chamber the combustion occurs so the combustion phenomena is being very much different in si and ci engine next one is the compression ratio as we know that the compression ratio in case of ci engine is much higher than the spark ignition engine so the value of the compression ratio is 6 to 10 is to 10.5 in case of si engine and for ci engine it is 14 to 20 next one rpm or the revolutionary per minute speed with which the engine operates the rpm is more in case of si engine and the rpm is less in case of ci engine next one is the carburetor the carburetor is used to provide the mixture in case of spark ignition engine or to produce the mixture and the injector is being used to inject the diesel fuel directly into the combustion chamber that means in case of si engine the spark per plug you are going to use to ignite fuel when the mixture is being provided by the carburetor but over here in case of ci engine you are going to use the injector which will inject the fuel into compressed air in the combustion chamber and the fuel is going to burn next one the weight arrangement or the weight is less in case of si engine and the weight is more in case of ci engine this was there for today's lecture thank you for attending today's lecture and if there is any doubt regarding today's lecture you can share it in the comment box thank you for attending